The premium, right now we are recommending that um, from new premium or nominal premium, we will be charging the uh, private sports club uh, a premium equal to one third of the full market value. Uh, from, I think from the club's point of view, this is a significant change in policy because uh, in the past maybe hundreds of years, they are paying new premium. So we are giving them six months to reflect their views to us. The, uh, we consider that it is important to engage our stakeholders, especially the, uh, the uh, PRL lessee, that, so that they can reflect their views fully to us. And then at the end of the public consultation, we will uh, collect all the views, both from the stakeholders as well as from the public, and reflect that to the uh, legislative uh, uh, executive council. Uh, for our current uh, assessment is that the smaller clubs with uh, a smaller number of members may have some difficulties in meeting the one-third uh, of the full market premium. That's why in the public consultation documents, we have given them an alternative. If they consider it um, uh, impossible or difficult for them to pay the one-third premium, they could opt for uh, changing their status from a private sports club to a semi-public uh, sports organization like the South China uh, Athletics Club. Uh, in that sense, they meet, that means they have to open up their membership and then they have to charge a, a re more reasonable uh, membership fee, uh, acting as if they are just like a uh, semi-public -pu uh, sports organization.